Hello and welcome to the news update on Enterprise TV. I'm Choma Okoye. A federal high court in Abuja has dismissed the suit seeking the removal of Abdullahi Ganduje as a national chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC. In the judgment delivered on Monday, Iyang Echo, presiding judge, held that the suit was premature and the issues raised were within the purview of the internal affairs of the political party. Echo held that the group failed to show credible evidence that it was registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission, CAC, and therefore lacked the locus to have instituted the suit. The North Central APC firm, held by Saleh Zaga, had queried the properties of Ganjuju's appointment as the chair of the party since he is not from any state in the North Central geopolitical zone. They argued that the National Executive Committee, NEC, of the APC, breached the party's constitution when it appointed Ganduji from Kana State in the Northwest Geopolitical Zone to replace Abdullahi Adamu from Nasara State in the North Central Geopolitical Zone. The Nigerian government has reiterated its demands for the United Nations Security Council seat after contributing to 41 peacekeeping missions and deployment of over 200,000 troops for global peace. The Minister of Defense, Mohamed Badaru, while addressing the 79th United Nations General Assembly on Sunday night, emphasized Nigeria's long-standing commitment to international peace and security. He said at the summit of the future interactive dialogue that, since Nigeria's first deployment in the Congo in 1960, the country has contributed to 41 peacekeeping missions globally. Badaro called for reform of the UN Security Council to ensure Africa is represented with permanent seats, arguing it would enhance global stability. Mondo Okwevolo, candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC, has been declared winner of the Edo governorship election, but this outcome has been disputed by opposition parties. Farouk Adamo, the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC returning officer, announced the result in Benin City, the Edo state capital, on Sunday. Okbevolo, a serving senator, won the election with 291,667 votes to defeat his closest rival, Asiori Igodalo, of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, who polled 247,274 votes. Olumide Apata, the candidate of the Labour Party came a distant third with 22,763 votes. The APC won the election in 11 of the 18 local government areas in Edo State, while the PDP secured victories in the remaining seven local government areas. The off-circle election in the South South State was contested by 17 candidates. In foreign news, Lebanon's health ministry says no fewer than 100 persons have been killed and 100 more wounded in Israeli strikes. Israel says strikes against Hezbollah are deepening as citizens in southern Lebanon have received phone messages warning them to leave places used by the Iran-backed group. A Lebanese minister calls the messages psychological war. Why Israel's defense minister says strikes will continue until it achieves its goals to return the residents of the north safely to their homes. Fears of an all-out regional conflict in the Middle East have grown in the past week. Cross-border attacks have also increased after a series of exploding device attacks on Hezbollah members was blamed on Israel. That is the news at this time. We invite you to follow us across social media. Our handle is the same Enterprise TV7 and our website is www.enterprisetvnews.com. Bye for now.